Imagine a life where simplicity, efficiency, and well-being aren't just buzzwords, but a daily reality. This is the Japanese way. Welcome, dear listeners, to a journey into the heart of the land of the rising sun, a culture deeply rooted in centuries-old traditions and a philosophy that prioritizes balance, harmony, and the art of living well. Today, we're delving into the power of Japanese habits. These are not mere routines, but profound practices imbued with wisdom and insight. They are the wellspring of a culture that values mindfulness, respect, and continuous improvement. It's no secret that these habits have a profound impact on the quality of life. They are deeply ingrained in the Japanese way of living, influencing everything from daily interactions to grand life decisions. The beauty of these habits is that they are universally applicable. Whether you're in Tokyo or Toronto, these principles can guide you towards a life of greater simplicity, efficiency, and well-being. It's about adopting a mindset, a way of life that brings balance, fulfillment, and a sense of purpose. Ready to transform your life with these Japanese habits? Keep watching. First on our list is Kaizen, the practice of continuous improvement. A subtle yet transformative concept, Kaizen is deeply entrenched in Japanese culture and industry. It is a philosophy that embraces change for the better, with its roots dating back to the post-war era of Japan. But its relevance stretches far beyond the confines of factories and assembly lines. Imagine a mindset where every action, every decision, every moment is an opportunity for improvement. Kaizen promotes exactly this, a lifestyle of constant learning and growth. It encourages us to question, to refine, to innovate. It asks us not to settle for good enough, but to strive for better, for best. It's not about drastic transformations or overnight success. Instead, Kaizen is about small incremental changes that accumulate over time, leading to significant improvements. It's about taking one step at a time consistently and persistently towards our goals. So whether you're aiming to learn a new skill, improve your health, or simply become a better version of yourself, Kaizen can be your guiding principle. Remember, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Next, we dive into Ikigai, the Japanese secret to a long, happy life. Imagine a compass with four points converging at the center. These points represent what you love, what the world needs, what you're good at, and what you can be paid for. This is the essence of Ikigai, a philosophy that believes in the harmonious balance of these four aspects. It's not just about passion or profession, rather it's about finding the sweet spot between personal satisfaction and societal contribution. When you identify your ikigai, you unearth a profound sense of purpose. It's like finding the key to a treasure chest brimming with joy, contentment, and fulfillment. It's about waking up every morning with a sense of purpose, a reason to be. It's about ending each day with the satisfaction of having lived in alignment with your true self. Ikigai is not merely a concept, but a way of life. It's a journey not a destination, it's a constant evolution, not a static state. It's about embracing change, fostering growth, and nurturing a sense of fulfillment. Find your ikigai and you find your path to joy. Wabi-sabi, the Japanese art of finding beauty and imperfection, is our third habit. Delving into the heart of this philosophy, we find its roots deeply embedded in Zen Buddhism. It's a worldview that embraces the transient and imperfect nature of life a balm to the relentless pursuit of perfection that often leaves us feeling inadequate. Wabi-sabi is a gentle whisper that reminds us that beauty exists in the weathered, the worn, and the asymmetrical. It encourages us to find peace in the natural cycle of growth and decay. As we accept the imperfections in the world around us, we begin to accept them in ourselves and others. This acceptance fosters a sense of compassion and understanding leading to a more fulfilling life. Embrace wabi-sabi and you embrace the beauty of the world as it is. Shuhari, the stages of learning to mastery, is our fourth habit. This transformative concept, deeply rooted in the traditional martial arts of Japan, can be applied universally in mastering any skill. Shuhari is a three-tiered system. Shu, the first stage, represents learning fundamentals. You adhere to the teachings of your master, repeating techniques until they become second nature. The second stage, Ha, is where you diverge. You start to explore beyond the boundaries of your teachings, experimenting and innovating. 
The third and final stage, Re, is where you transcend. You become the master. Your actions are intuitive and fluid, no longer bound by conventional rules. The discipline of Shuhari encourages persistence. It reminds us that the path to mastery is not a sprint, but a marathon. It's a journey filled with repetition, exploration, and finally, transcendence. Embracing Shuhari means understanding that the road to mastery is long, but every single step is a progression. With Shuhari, every effort you make takes you one step closer to mastery. Kanzo, the concept of simplicity and elimination of clutter, is our fifth habit. Introduced by the Japanese, Kanzo embodies the idea of stripping away the unnecessary, the lavish, the clutter in favor of the essential. This is not limited to physical spaces alone. It extends to our mental landscape, our thoughts, our emotions, our relationships. Imagine a life where each object, each thought, each relationship holds a purpose, a value, where there is no room for the superfluous. That's Kanzo. It's about making space, not just in our homes, but in our minds. It's about freeing ourselves from the weight of the unnecessary to make room for what truly matters. The beauty of Kanzo lies in its quiet power. It may seem subtle, but its impact is profound. It leads us to a stress-free life, a life where clarity reigns supreme. Kanzo is the embodiment of the phrase, less is more. It nudges us to appreciate the beauty of simplicity and to find joy in the essential. Embrace Kanzo and you embrace a life of simplicity and clarity. Wow, the pursuit of harmony and peace is our sixth habit. This Japanese concept is deeply ingrained in their society, where group consensus and unity often take precedence over individual opinions. WA is about creating a harmonious environment filled with mutual respect and understanding. It's a guiding principle that influences how the Japanese interact with each other, and it's integral to their interpersonal relationships. Imagine a world where every interaction is conducted with the intention of maintaining harmony. Disagreements are handled with grace, and conflicts are resolved in a way that fosters unity. It reduces friction, eases tension, and promotes a peaceful coexistence. This habit isn't about suppressing your individuality, but rather about valuing the collective peace over personal agenda. It nurtures a culture of respect, understanding, and empathy. In adopting WA, we're not just promoting peace in our immediate surroundings, but we're also fostering a sense of inner tranquility. Cultivate WA, and you cultivate a peaceful existence. Omoyari, the habit of consideration for others, is our seventh habit. This Japanese concept is a beautiful practice of empathy, understanding, and respect for others. It's not just about being polite, it's about truly considering the feelings and perspectives of those around you. Omoyari is the act of stepping outside of yourself, of seeing the world through someone else's eyes. It's the recognition that we are all interconnected, that our actions ripple out and touch others in ways we may not always see. This habit is a powerful tool in fostering empathy and compassion, qualities that are essential for strong, meaningful relationships. In a world often focused on the self, Omoyari asks us to consider the other. It encourages us to pause, to listen, and to understand before we act. It's a reminder that our actions have consequences, that they impact others, and that we have a responsibility to consider these impacts. Omoyari is not just about understanding others, it's about respecting them, about valuing their experiences and perspectives as much as our own. It's about recognizing the humanity in others and treating them with the kindness and respect that this recognition demands. Practice Omoyari, and you practice the art of understanding others. Ichigo Ichii, the mindfulness of the present moment, is our eighth habit. This age-old Japanese philosophy, steeped in the tradition of tea ceremonies, is a beautiful reminder of the transient nature of our existence. Ichigo Ichii, literally translating to one time, one meeting, encourages us to fully immerse ourselves in the current moment, appreciating its uniqueness and its fleetingness. It's a call to mindfulness, urging us to not simply exist, but to live, to breathe, to experience the here and now. It's not about forgetting the past or ignoring the future, but about acknowledging the present, cherishing it, and giving it the respect it deserves. This philosophy doesn't just apply to grand life-changing events. 
It's about the everyday moments too, the sips of tea, the falling of leaves, the laughter shared with friends. Each moment, each interaction is singular and will never occur in the same way again. In a world that moves at breakneck speed, Ichigo Ichie is a quiet rebellion, a soft reminder to slow down and savor the beauty of now. To live Ichigo Ichie is to live fully, consciously, and wholeheartedly in the present moment. Live Ichigo Ichie and you live in the present moment. Harahachibu, the habit of eating until 80% full, is our ninth habit. Now you might be wondering, how does one know when they're 80% full? Well, it's less about precision and more about mindfulness. It's about taking the time to savor each bite, to appreciate the flavors, textures, and aromas of the food before you. You see, harahachibu is not just about portion control, it's also about slowing down, about fully engaging with the act of eating. And this has profound effects on our health. When we eat slowly, we give our body the time it needs to signal that it's had enough, reducing the risk of overeating and promoting a healthy weight. But what makes this habit truly remarkable is its contribution to longevity. Okinawa, the birthplace of Harahachibu, has one of the highest rates of centenarians in the world. And while this can't be attributed to Harahachibu alone, it certainly plays a crucial role. So, adopt Harahachibu and you adopt a balanced approach to eating. And Natsukashi, the joy of nostalgia, is our final habit. A Japanese term that encapsulates the warmth of fond memories, Natsukashi is a feeling that washes over you when you recall happy times from the past. It's a complex emotion that combines joy, longing, and a sense of contentment. In the hustle and bustle of life, it's easy to forget the good old days. But in Japan, Natsukashi is a habit, a practice of deliberately cherishing and appreciating past experiences. It's a mindful way of acknowledging the beauty of moments gone by, the people who've touched our lives and the lessons we've learned. This isn't about dwelling in the past, but rather taking a moment to smile at it. It's about understanding that every experience, every encounter has contributed to who we are today. It's a celebration of our journey, an affirmation of our growth. Natsukashi fosters a sense of happiness and contentment. It's a reminder that our past is not just a collection of events, but a treasure trove of joyous moments that have shaped our present. It's a gentle nudge to not just live in the moment, but also to value the journey that brought us here. Experience Natsukashi and you experience the joy of cherished memories. So there you have it, 10 Japanese habits that can revolutionize your life. We've journeyed through the power of Kaizen, continuous improvement, discovered the beauty of wabi-sabi, the acceptance of imperfection, and dabbled in the discipline of shuhari, the stages of learning to mastery. We've embraced the simplicity of kanzo, decluttering our lives, found harmony through wa, social cooperation, and cultivated respect with omoyari, empathy for others. Our journey didn't stop there. We explored the mindfulness of Ichigo Ichie, the concept of treasuring every moment, balanced our lives through Hara Hachibu, eating until we are 80% full. And finally, we've experienced the joy of Natsukashi, a sense of nostalgia. Every habit we've discussed today holds the potential to infuse our lives with a profound sense of balance, fulfillment, and tranquility. These are not just habits, they are a way of life a philosophy that can guide us towards a better, more meaningful existence. Embrace these Japanese habits and you embrace a life of simplicity, harmony and joy. Your journey to a better life starts today.